Morning, friends. Glorious day. A couple of removals today. We've done it, but he's got the toss. You're not going to hit me with that, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get one backhand. So I so badly want a backhand. <laughs> Let's climb these trees and cut them down. Oh. I can't believe that started without a choke. gonna do this though just because we're here here we go I'm not even gonna back it up we go pop I just, huh? uh, I'm good this over like this watch see a little just throw a little rope like this and throw it out in a crotch like this see and then it falls down like this now I should be able to use this dead wood here oh, come here you there it is yeah there we go got it okay now now we've got purchase you see I should let you take that rope. That burned me up. <laughs> Running bowline, friends. See? Pull her tight, boy! That's the one. I'll be good. He's good, Dad. <laughs> Okay, I'll take the rope, son. Okay. Okay. You want to drop the butt in behind? I'm going to try and let it go down this way. Okay. I got her here. No problem. Nice. So, we'll just pull up our slack. Freaking one hand, the old, you know. Clovich, flippity flop, over it comes, shiklanko. I'm not even gonna back this up with a half. Well, I should. Always back it up. Leave a tail for your ground, ground technicians to just pull on that and away they go. See, I can just let this thing go down and out. Even though it's on this side of the tree, it's, it's gonna go there because my rigging points over there. So I got no problem just doing this one by myself. It's not that heavy. <laughs> on the load this one huh go. Ah. this one I can just snap it this one I can just snap cut
So now I don't need this here no more. I'll just take this with me, put it back on my hip. See, friends, let's just put it back here. This is old school tree climbing, friends. This isn't fancy dancy, ringity dingity. I know there's guys out there doing old school climbing because they just want to get going. But but don't just reply on or rely on one system, friends. You know what I mean? Learn, learn a couple different things. Learn some different, but see even just this friends, for to get around this dog leg, it's uncomfortable climbing. You lose sight of your picks under that lump. You see, you lose sight of it. Come around to the side so you can see where your picks are. Use this handle here, right here like this. Just think a step ahead. You know, just, just think about what you're doing. Because uh, it helps to these, these little tricks these old guys, you know, us old guys got a few tricks, you know. So, so here I am. This will all clear gutter. I'll just pop this off. Now, what I can do is go like this. If you're worried about it hanging on, just peel it, let it hang, cut it off. Right? Peel it, let it hang, cut it off. Now here's another little tip I want to give you guys right now. Under, yeah. Go ahead. Underneath the tree, which means underneath, underneath the low side of the tree. Leave these if you can. Just leave them once in a while because you can actually stand on these, friends. Get past it, cut it off. This is all going to be slid out and rigged now. It, it Honestly, this one's hung up. You got to be careful. You don't wanna just want to cut this limb. It'll hang up in there. You see? So you want to send this one out. Take a look at these trees that grow crazy like this. They're deceiving sometimes. Just look straight forward. Well, it's not. You know, do, can I use these little things? Is this something I can use here right now? Well, I've got a bunch of them. So just keep, keep in mind, you know, think about little scenarios. This one here, I might just de-weight. <laughs> There it goes. Boom. Right? This one I can actually get moving and cut off. Watch. See that? I got it moving and then got it out past the house and cut it off. Oh! Let's get rid of this one. You need to do anything, boy? Okay, so now we're underneath the tree because all the foliage is here. You can't really get it from the backside. So I, I've got options here now. So a guy would probably just be getting set up. Yeah, see there's that one that's caught. It's caught good, see that? you to grab that one real quick out of my rope throw that behind the tree dad right. thank you good yeah so this goes way out over the house there but I'm gonna get it moving and cut the sucker off that's just what I'm gonna do I might even let it hang After that big limb, there's, a, there's not too many more big ones like that it's not there? bad is it thanks dad So I don't want it to keep traveling. I only want it to travel 
travel so far and then it'll pop. Take a look at your undercut. Not bad. Just enough to get the thing off the house. right now friends it's literally like I'm not kidding you it's helping me a ton right now look at it. big time I'm gonna see if I can roll this guy out pull up we go This thing's helping me out so much. Little stub back there. Just little tricks like that, friends. These are invaluable. I remember years ago being like, damn, I wish I had something there. You see? Because it's a kink. We're in a kinky, kinky spot of the tree here. Every climber knows this is not the funnest part of the tree to climb with these dog legs and this and that. But once you're past it and you don't need it anymore, you can actually get rid of it because it'll screw your rigging up if you need it. Okay. So, these are just little things I like to share with guys. Like, look at that. It's just, <laughs> they help you so much. You know, boom. Like, so just, just keep, keep thinking. Keep thinking, keep thinking. Always thinking. This tree was such a healthy specimen, but as you can see, it's creating a problem on her home. Now, I think I might be able to probably fall a stem quite big after I get all the weight out off the house. Because I'm kind of straight now, I'm up past that dog leg. I should be able to just roll over here and deal with this stuff by hand. Because it's not that heavy of a lean here now. You see what I mean? I'll just get under here. Give her a little flick around. See? Now I can have my hand on this stuff. Instead of taking chances. We tickled the gutter. Nope. See that, 
here it comes. Look. Some big firewood. You see, you got to be careful because some of these can get hooked into these other branches, and if you don't got a rope on it, you know. And when in doubt, when in doubt, just do it. You got your rope. You see? Yeah, you just take a couple rappy dappies and see if we can get lucky on this one, which we did. Or did we? No, we just lost it. Well, there's another dog legging it up higher than Oh, yeah. I could just go up here and grab that. There we go. Here's the one-handed clove hitch. On, one yeah. One-handed clove hitch, friends. Okay, look. Oh, watch. One, boom. Okay. Two, right there. Boom. Clove hitch. Half hitch. Boom. Done. Secured. Okay. There you go. We got this here. Put her back on the crotch. There we go. Down we go. This guy go here, I think. See, I'm just on the underside of the tree, is all. Which is not a horrible idea. Okay. Old school climbing. creeping all by itself see it there it goes it's out there it's probably pulling on this a bit but it's just gonna pop you know it is it's dia freaking dora see what i'm doing i'm just letting the tree hang onto the limb there it goes so there's one boom let it go there's a dead one right over top it's ready to let go this thing will probably just i'll probably just cut away cut it away Okay. <laughs> 
Now, we're getting to a spot where it's kind of starting to get funky. Funky dunky. Again, the tree's funky. We got room to fall a stem back in there. But you see what we got here now? So you make the call yourself. Yeah, see, this is way out there. And really, friends, yeah, I could play Mr. Joe, but I'm not gonna bother this time. I'm gonna grab my rope. It's, oh, there we go, Ganges has got it. I'm just gonna throw my rope, it's on my hip. I'm literally just gonna throw it up over top of a limb here. Right, literally right in front of my face. Don't make that mistake. One-handed bowline, or 12 hitch. Here we go. Pick back in. This thing's gonna roll down and out. You wanna kinda get it by your feet if you can. So if you if you bangle your undercut rolling like this. on itself, which is why with me. There we go. I prefer my own rigging, if I can rig it myself. I prefer to have my own hands on the rope. I should flop out, yeah? There we go. You see, I, I just I just prefer it that way. I, I don't know why. Blop! Yeah, it's going straight to the house, so I'm going to leave it to you. Okay, well, we're pretty much at the top of the tree. There's like one limb, you know, the rest of it's shooting pretty straight up. So at this stage, I think what I'll do is try and get a tie in here. Try and fluke out with a tie in right here. A little shorter. There it is, right there. Beautiful. There's my tie in, right there. See that, friends? There she be. Okay, all these little stubs now are your friends like crazy. Look at that, see that? See that, friends? You see, wait, now, cause I'm just a climber. I'm not a guy hanging around in a tree. I'm not, I'm not gonna tie in way up in the tree, come back down and start rigging. I'm just not gonna do it. Yes, it's more efficient on your body. Friends, I, I understand all that. It is more efficient. It's not, you're not as, 
you're not sweating as much. Absolutely, it's energy efficient, but it's not time efficient for me. So, uh, this tree's done. Uh, I don't know if it's been a half an hour, but regardless, whatever it is, now I'm comfortable. Personally, I'm comfortable. Everybody's different in their own comfort levels. People see a tree leaning like this on a house, they go, I'm not falling that. Well, <laughs> friends, you can sit on your picks. You got no way around getting off your picks when you're in a chunk out. And that's what this is now. You're either chunking it out or you're hanging a block off of a tree behind it and pulling it out. That's my choice. My preference is to, if there's room to fall it, I fall it. No, but, uh, okay, I thought we had something else here. It's just a climb, piece of climbing rigging. I mean, I know it'll work, Sonny, for sure. Yeah, this one ain't long enough. Huh? This is not long enough to go out there? Uh, well, we're, we're redirecting to the truck. Okay, there's our mountain of brush. Here's our tree. Here's our running bowline. Huh. Up she goes, running bowline. Just leave your working end out there. Just leave it out there. Doesn't You don't even need it right now. Just do it like you were going to tie a bowline, right? Right? Just like this. And then just incorporate this. And then forget about it. It's gone. You don't ever need it again. It's already there. Boom. Around you go and tie your bowline. Running bowline is one of the best knots. I'm going to do a, a video on knots. My, my favorite three knots, friends, okay? You can probably guess what they are, but I'll show you how to do them. Okay, there we go. Running bowline. There she is, right to the tree. Boom. You see, now we got a lot of purchase, so we come over to the block. Hogan's setting up here. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, son. That's good purchase. Put her in like this. There's our clove hitch right there. Go through here. Tuck it behind. Yeah, I just throw it in there and give it a little, a little of that medicine. Just like that. <gasps> Done. It's not going anywhere. Let's turn the truck around. Just seeing if I can get lucky and leave my climbing gear on. I think I can. <laughs> yeah, I think I can. Yeah, let's see how we. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna try. Yeah, because I want to be, I'll take up slack, Sonny. I'll get you to pull slack. We're going to pull up this thing. We're going to put tension on this tree. Sonny, I'll get you to watch the tension on the tree. So there's our pull. There's our tree. It's not massive, but instead of hanging out on your picks all day, chunking the sucker down beside the house, it's going full length out there. So let's watch this get, get tight. See if I get enough pull on her, Sonny, if I can... Cause I'll still need to pull a bit, eh? Watch the rope, Dad. I can actually go this way. I'm on it, aren't I? Oh, yeah. So there we go. So so I'm on I'm on that tree, like on it, friends. So I'll show you. Here's the deal. You want a chalk there? Yeah. Real chalk? Yeah, let's do that. So so here's those knots I was talking about. See how that's still real tight on there. This is quite snug, and we're on this thing. We're on it big time, and it bows out. So, so this is good. So we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna shoot it full length right to that dead cherry tree. There's nobody out there. It's safe. Son, would you do me a quick favor and just dart out, and make sure we're in the block. Just check that yeah. piece of rigging for us, please. Before you go and start yarding on it, Check your points of rigging. Go out, check that. Hoagie's just running out there for me. He's gonna check that. Make sure we're in the in the shiv, and that the the, the clove hitch is holding and it looks good. How's the clove hitch, Sonny? Yep. Looking good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So there's no weak points. So we're good. The old Merc ain't a weak point. Let me tell you that right now. Okay, and we got a wheel chalk because it's a standard. You don't want to lose that, right? So I'll just 
I'll just put a cut in it. We'll let her go. Tree's cut up. Jump in the truck. I'll get her if you like. Here. First gear. Oh, okay. Gear. We go. That. Nice job. Perfect pull. Nice piece of hinge wood right across the stump. Look at that, friends. Just all set up. She went right on course. We got fruit trees and stuff out here we wanted to save. We came really close to the prune, uh, the plum tree. But I, we also got redwood and neighbor's fence. You see, so everything come out really nice. The apples here, nice and all good. And there's our, our plum, which are nice producers. So there she is, right to the pull. So it's 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 all in what you're comfortable with i'm no good hanging around on the picks forever so i get out what's hazardous to the to the structures and, and i i just i get it to a place where i can fall it comfortably if they're side lean you would have had to deal with that too tagline whatever it is that was straight off the tree gonna crack i'll just crack that thing apart Tight quarters in there, friends. She's real tight quarters. Is this gonna work for that one? Okay, that works for that one. Hey, friends. So listen, stick in tuned in next video because I I finally get at this fuel pump. It's been sitting in this. I've been wanting to drive that truck. I've been, I've been loving driving the Merc, no question about it, but. Look at it behind there right now. You can just see it sitting there. I love that old truck. But this thing, 
is a completely different unit to drive. And what's nice about it is it's actually got four by and it works really good. Um, but I've had the fuel pump sitting in the front seat. I bought the fuel pump a couple weeks back. It's been sitting there. I've just been waiting for the right moment, the right time. Well, it hit me the other day and uh, it, all the problems, except for the float, there's a little float issue, but uh, the truck's running great. Just insured it for a full year yesterday. Friends, I love you. Let's stay strong in these times. It's it's love is the only answer. It's, it's the only answer to what's going on is, is, is love. So, okay. Be kind, friends. We'll talk to you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. See you then. And welcome to the newcomers. I see you coming in. Over and out. Good. Okay, that one works good for that one. But I don't think we're going to get... Ah, no. 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 <clears throat> What would happen if I took that off there? That would work. I'm gonna pull that off.